All right, so a lot of people have asked me how my LED suit works. Well, I'm gonna make a little video for you guys. I'll show you how it works. So anyway, here's the suit on the first mode. It's, uh, and yes, it is a complete underbody suit. It, uh, I put this on before I put on my suit. And uh, there's a little bit a little more to it than just that. When I put this on, uh, my suit has digigrade padding, and I've actually got to take it out of my suit first and put it into this, so the lights go on the outside of the digigrade padding, as you can see the back here, as well as the front. Um, so uh, that was a little bit of a setup, going from you know day suiting to night suiting. I, I usually call it because you know nobody can really see the LEDs during the day, but um, unless I program mode that goes all white and that's really bright and it takes a lot of power but you know it's uh yeah but anyway as you can see this mode right now it's slowly fading through all the different colors and uh, it's actually quite efficient because it's, as it is there's three colors right red green blue and uh each one draw each led draws about 20 milliamps uh per color so you know all white would be 60 milliamps per led and I have about roughly, when I have the head and tail on and all that, I have about uh, six, uh, 300 LEDs. So, anyway, I'll show you how it works. Uh, some may think I have motion sensors or may have uh, uh, have a microphone that reacts to music or whatever, right? You know, they can seem to stop it around, the lights will change as I go. Uh, believe it or not, the simple suit is actually quite basic uh, in terms of uh, functionality it's um, all I have really is in these sleeves and I'll pull back here is I have buttons I have a button here I'll look at the camera here so I don't look at myself uh, and another button here in the other sleeve I just have one button it's a different style I mean trying different buttons are the velcroed on so they're interchangeable to come to a connector so I can pull them off if they fail because I have a few buttons uh, go bad on me because I just mash the buttons like mad so you know <laughs> that's they get a lot of work out but uh, I find these buttons are holding up pretty good so anyway yeah there are only three buttons on this suit just three that's the only input I have besides the voltage sense which will shut off the lights if uh, the voltage gets too low for my batteries so yeah what the buttons do they will they'll do whatever happens to be in the mode right like I said this is the first mode um, that I'm in and if I uh, yeah, this button here if I press it in it turns everything into rainbow if I let go of it it goes back to its normal fade mode uh, if I press this one it's just a press uh, it will go to a new a new color and just randomly choose a different color and animate accordingly and I'll just go back to feeding all those colors so yeah um, my batteries aren't here and a, a lipo safe bag I really don't need this anymore because I'm not really using lipos anymore. I'm using uh, life batteries, which are much safer uh, than lipos. Uh, I used to use lipos for about two years, and I figured, you know, I got lucky so far. So I mean, I run a, I run a fuse, a 10 amp fuse on this thing because I don't draw nearly as much as 10 amps. But if it does, it'll pop, and I'll be safe, and I don't cause a big, you know, don't become rocket dog, right? So. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, what I was going to say, yeah, it's just basically athletic knit fabric and everything is in channels. As you can see here, all the LEDs are under these channels. Some of them uh, poke out. Uh, maybe I can take some out for show you They're pretty well. Yeah, I mean, actually, I just did some repairs, so I haven't really sewn them together. I'll pull them out of the leg. There. <clears throat> so here they are in the leg. Here's a perfect example of uh, how I make them strong. See if we get the light on here. You see behind them are they're just basically flexible LEDs, and uh, but I've cut them all up and I rejoined them together with wire because then the wire takes the flex, not the boards. Because these little circuit boards are quite fragile and they'll always want to break. So I also put a popsicle stick behind because they're sticky back. I just stick a popsicle stick behind it. Yeah, the focus is not focusing. There we go. Um, yeah, so every single LED is like that. Every one has been cut, resoldered, 
joined back together and they're a two inch spread right now which is eh, kind of far you can see the dots outside the suit uh, my next version would probably be a lot more dense but i mean it's more soldering but you know it takes a while you know i could do 300 leds in about a week <laughs> of just cutting and resoldering but i got the i got the the method down packed pretty good so yeah and every time they break out like see here's a knee I break out to an actual wire is outside of the shrink tube, so the wire takes all the, the abuse of kneeling down or walking or whatever. You know, so all the joints, like everywhere I have a joint, there's actually a breakout wire. You can actually see that right there in the camera. Um, armpit, they, that's the common area that breaks. Uh, I've had to, even though the suit's been redesigned, it's still, I'm chasing the brakes. So, but I'm learning. Every time I fix it, it's more bulletproof. And my future version 3 suit is going to be heavy gauge wire, better placement of, of where LEDs go and such. So anyway, um, I'm rambling on here, but I'll show you the different modes. How it works is the third button. See, there's only two. There's two palm buttons, right? There's one palm here. There's a palm here. It goes right, well, the palm of my paw, right? This one here goes on the top of my right hand. So if you ever watch me, even you see videos or even see me again in a con and I'm like, I reach over and I tap my right hand with my left hand, um, I actually activate the mode. Now, if I do this quickly, it only dwells for a minute. But on this arm here, if you watch closely, it turns red. Now, if I keep pushing the buttons, there we go. Now, I need to fix that. Anyway. It cycles, it's supposed to cycle through six LEDs, but the index has done weird stuff. And I'll go back to mode zero so it's not so confusing, because it just, mode zero is nothing. So, uh, okay, so now here's my mode selection. So it cycles through six LEDs, and yeah, the index is broken because it goes to the other side. <laughs> need to fix that in the code. Anyway, so if I keep pushing, if I don't stop and let it go for a second, it will accept wherever I left it at, and that would be the new mode. So as you see, it goes all red and green. If I add more modes, it'll eventually go blue. So red, green, blue, right? So, you know, I can do six times three, I can do 18 modes. And then I have to go to a different color, like purple or yellow or whatever, right? You know, there's a lot of colors in the rainbow. So anyway, so if I, so I was at mode uh, two right here, I go to mode three. And there you go. If I let, let it go, it does the all scrolling animation. Now I always like, you know, I always go to this one here. If I, when the limb stops working or something breaks, and you can't really tell if something's broken really with this mode. See? Yeah. Wow, well, this video's going on eight minutes. So I gotta keep going. So anyway, uh, next mode is oh, please mode. It's really very flashy. Of course, the head and tail are not on right now, so the head is usually flashing uh, red, red and blue. And if I <clears throat> if I press and hold one of the palm buttons, like I press this one here, back will turn on to more red and blue. And if I press this one, it uh, goes to the bottom, right? So if I let go, it goes to the top. So you know, if I'm gonna dance and it gets pretty, pretty ravey music, I uh, usually go to this. <laughs> Anyway, next, this will be my, uh, oh yeah, um, the mode where it just flashes. So if I just hit this, just keep hitting it, it'll flash and it'll fade out. Flash and fade out to nothing. See? There you go. So, if you ever seen a video of me uh, at Vancouver getting electrocuted by uh, a wall socket, well, guess what? That was me just hitting this. Yeah, magic's broken. You know, and the other one does a different color. Yeah, see, this is still partially Christmas mode. I haven't really got rid of it all. But I was like, yeah. I did red and, red and green, Christmas colors. And next one is my energy mode, which is kind of fun. Everybody seems to like this one. Now, let's see. Gotta spin it around. If I hit the left arm, just tap it, it will actually crawl up the arm and it gets stored in the back. If I press it, it'll just fill the back solid of light. I let go and it'll stop scrolling. You can't fill it anymore, it is full. Um, Alexi, wrote, Alexi wrote a lot of these bows for me already. Um, and this one here is, he says, probably much the hardest one he had to do. So yeah, yeah, it looks like I gotta rearrange some of my LED. I was just working on it, so you gotta push them around and they'll, they'll come back. 
And right now, if I hit my right one, if I just tap it, oh, I hit the wrong button. Shit. That was the load button. My bad. Let's try this again. Let's fill it up. And all right, not the mode button, but the the palm button. Now if I just tap it, yeah. there you can see it go through the arm. And it'll just eventually get sucked out. So yeah, so I just tap my, my hand on somebody and steal their energy, and I'll tap my head on hand on somebody else and it will give it back to them. <laughs> so yeah, uh, next mode is now into green. And the green one here is also uh a mode where I kind of like these modes because they don't do nothing while I'm doing nothing. I kind of like ones where just kind of just they just go. So when I do my big reprogram, I'll be doing more stuff like that. Like, like you know, maybe when I was doing the thing, I'll I'll have it like randomly put sparkles or something. I don't know. Anyway, so if I hit this, it just scrolls through the whole body. If I can pack out, if I hold it, it just makes a big long line. It goes through the whole body, goes to the back. If I let go, it'll just keep going back. If I go back here, you can see. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. So both of them, if I hit the other one, does the other side. Yeah. There. So yeah, I just hit it, and it'll just send light down the arm and down the leg and up the leg. So that's kind of fun. Uh, next one would be... Uh, hit the mode. I've got the next one. is. Uh, what is this? Oh yeah, Tron mode, that's right. Tron dance. So basically how this works is it's a step-by-step -step, uh, animation. So I hit this button, I hit my left button, and it will turn on every zone. Because um, this is actually laid out in zones, not just all one big strip, it's actually seven zones. And there's a tail, back, and head. So I've hit all seven of them. Hit one more, it should be strobe. There you go. So the whole thing strobes. This will turn it off again. Next, I memorize these. Now I got these really cool animation. Alexi, again, programmed these all in a very short notice. And um, I'm going to be programming another one very soon for this year's foray. So yeah. And then hit again, it should fade out. And then I'll do some cool strobey stuff. Yeah. yeah. You did a really good job on animating this for me. But I need to learn to do it myself. So yeah. Uh, that's Tron mode. Sorry, the camera. I'm using my hand. I think this is a yeah a mode that doesn't quite work. <laughs> I never use it. It's supposed to be a, 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 a blaster mode, but it's not blasting. So back to drawing board. Now here's some modes that I actually programmed myself. These are my own. This is my random mode. Random, random, lots of random going on here. Random colors, random places, random taking it away. If I hit this button, it just resets everything and it starts all new random. If I hit this one, it actually turns to a full color and the randomness will just start eating them up and go back to normal random. So it randomly puts a color in. It's kind of cool, it's real fun. Very uh, dynamic. Uh, next one would be uh, yeah, my own version of the scroller. I kind of copied his mode at that's the third mode and I uh, Made it my own so there is two scroll worms going on uh, Which button does what now this one here? Okay, randomizes the colors so I hit this it'll change to a random color for both of them and This one here if I press and hold it it will stop them as you can see I can stop it. So to a new beat of a music, I can I can do some fun stuff with that. Or like say if I'm walking, I'm stopping, I can stop it and pick my foot up and I can go again. It's kind of fun. So yeah, um, I think that's it for modes. Yeah, back to mode zero and nothing. There you go, nothing at all. Uh, last few notes, uh, open this up. Sorry to camera, I'm not looking where I'm videoing. I'm really bad. I'm one of those guys. Anyway, uh, this is my little box. This is my Johnson & Johnson with Ikea Works on it. <laughs> it's a medical box, a little medical kit. And it has a, a physical switch that would shut it down. Like physically shut off. Like there's no no if, ands, or buts. It is off. If I open it up, you can see the switch. 
uh, literally breaks the connection from the battery. So if anything happens at all, I hit that switch and go. And sometimes if people hug me real tight, that switch will get flipped and I'll shut off. And sometimes I don't even know it until I look at a wrist or something. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'm not on anymore. <laughs> so yeah, inside here I have the, come on, focus. I have the TC 3.1 on an Octo WS 2812 or 2011 splitter board, which basically uh, takes the, the TC is basically uh, a 3.3 th uh, volt board, but the LEDs like to have five volts, especially on their data. It will work, but it's buggy. I've tried it, it's buggy. But uh, for the LEDs to work cleanly, they need five volts at the data as well as power. So, um, so this board actually literally takes in the the, the the logic, converts it into five volts, and spits it back out. That's all it really does, and it makes it a nice place to put the TNC. It has a nice nice pinout for it. You know, has some breakouts for sensors. Like you see here, all these all these here, all these pinouts are like my buttons and my voltage sense, and whatnot. Right? Yeah. What's the third one here going on here? But yeah, always a, a future. That's right. I have a future uh, wire that's not being used on because there's one wrist has one button. I could put two buttons there, but I don't know what I'll do with it. I'm kind of happy with just the three right now, but we'll see. Anyway, this big guy on the left here is my uh, DC disease, DC converter. It is uh, a 20 amp at five volts uh, converter. So I can st stick in whatever voltage I want. Anything from six volts to 60 volts. And I'll always put out five volts at the other side. And it's quite clean voltage as well. I've tested it all on the scope. Uh, I test, tested a few of them before I, I use this one here and it works pretty good. So yeah, and as you see all these bundle of wires, these are all my zones. Because with the, the way the LEDs draw the power, it's really good to divide out the power so you don't, you don't um, have too much voltage drop. Like, you know, 300 LEDs at the at the end of the 300 LEDs, 300 LEDs are going to be, the voltage could drop quite a lot and they may not work right. So, so with this way here, uh, and there's like the longest strip I think I have is in leg, which is 45 LEDs long. You know, the tail is only 24, the arms are like, uh, I don't know, like 25 or something now. Um, yeah, the head is like eight. <laughs> I need more in the head. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so that's basically what it is. I have this big belt cord of uh wires and they're all just they all go through through the bottom across and they just kind of divide out that's why all the leds come to the middle because it makes it easier for me to divide the power for easy you know like here's my wire right here that goes to the head i just kind of bring it up here I usually hook it up somewhere when i'm when i'm ready to suit and i'll plug it in and put the head on the way i go right you know and for the tail the tail has a permanent uh belt built in and let's see inside here where is it there you go. Here's the go. Here's the tail wire. I just plug that into the tail and we go. It's pretty simple. But yeah. Anyway, thanks for listening to me rambling on. This is how my LED suit works, and uh, this is my version two suit. Um, actually, yeah, we're 18 minutes of video, but real quick before we go, I leave. My version one suit is like hanging in the garage. It's under a bunch of crap. But here's version one suit. Here's on the light so you can see. It uses like the old Costco LEDs, it's all Velcroed on. This thing is probably already, I haven't even fixed it, it's still broken. It has like electrical tape holding crap together, you know. This thing uses an infrared controller to, uh, to, uh, uh, to, to modify it. I did actually have a music module on, actually I think I'll still do have a music module. Yeah, there it is. This is the module. <laughs> Pay like five bucks for it. But yeah, it takes, it has a microphone. That's not the microphone, but that's my voltage alarm. Oh my gosh, this thing was such a hack. This thing is, this is like way better than this one. So anyway, yeah, thanks for listening to me. See you later, bye.